Today's video from Sam Forest Help. We're looking at PLU button programming on the NR500 series of registers. So in this demo, we're looking at the NR510, um, which is the raised keyboard single printer version. The process is identical on the 520, which is the same machine with the same keyboard, just has two printers. It's similar on the flat keyboard versions, but I'd probably check out our specific videos on those because it's got a different keyboard, the, the button presses are, are different. Okay, so um, on these machines you have 12 what are called PLU buttons here. Um, if I just log into this machine, as standard they're programmed to be preset but zero priced items. So you can type in a price and then sell the item in that way. They have no tax settings on them, they have no um, customised descriptions and they have no prices. So what we'll do in this video, we'll, we'll program in three or four buttons and show you how to put a description in, how to put a price in, and then um, how to put a price override in, and also how to apply taxes to the PLUs um, if you need to. Okay, so I'll cash that sale off. And then what you'll need is the metal key marked P and you'll need to turn that round to the PGM position and then in the program mode the default top option is PLU. Turn that so you can see it better. So when you've got the arrow against PLU which will be as default you simply press cash amount tend which in the programming mode is kind of like your enter button. We're going to add and change PLUs so we press enter again and then we're going to do one PLU at a time in this video, so you just press enter again. Uh, then enter PLU number, so you simply press the PLU that you want to program. Um, I'm going to start with PLU number four, and I'm going to program that to be a preset product. I'm going to have it as my lottery tickets button, just as an example. Um, so it's not going to have any tax rates applied to it, it's just going to have a price, a description, and I'm going to turn off the preset override and then show you how that works. So first of all, you, when you go into the PLU, you get a list of all the different settings you can program. Uh, we're just looking at the essential ones for this product. So description is first, where it says PLU4, we press enter, and then we can use the buttons on the keyboard as you will have done if you program your receipt header to type in your button description. Okay, once you've typed in your description, cash to save or enter, and then down to the price, enter, type in the price without pressing the decimal point, and you've got your price in there. Now we get to some of the options, so option three is preset, yes or no, it's defaulted to yes, which is correct. Um, the option below is preset override, which is defaulted to yes again, but we don't want to allow that on this product, so enter, and then you can either arrow up or down to get to N for no, enter, um, and then we'll look at our taxes in, a, in the next PLU we program. Once you're happy with your settings for that product, clear, takes you back to the main PLU menu, and then you can press the next PLU to program. So I'm going to program PLU free. Um, I'm going to have this as an open, um, an open department that is standard tax rates so on this machine of if you've seen my previous videos, you'll have seen I've set up tax rate 1 to be 20%, so like a, a UK VAT. Um, so if we go into the description, and I'm just going to call this, to speed up the video a bit, I'm just going to call it goods. Obviously you can play around with the descriptions to your heart's content. Goods, enter to save. Price, I'm going to leave this one with no price, so it's going to be an open department, so I can ring in a variable price each time. So I need to turn off the preset, because I don't want to sell it at zero. Preset override, I'm going to, I don't think that actually matters if you've got zero price, but we might as well leave it on. And then uh, for taxes, please check out my tax video, but basically I've set up tax rate 1 to be 20% add-in. Um, so I need to go into there where it says taxable by rate 1, no. I want to change that to yes. Um, let's have a quick look at any other settings. You've got up to four tax rates on the machine, but obviously they're only relevant if you've programmed them. Groups, you've got different groups, so you could put this into group two. 
Um, well, my first button was in group one. Again, I'll have other videos showing you how to change the description of groups. You can have a product, a PLU in more than one group, but I'd, unless you're doing something complicated or you've got kitchen printers attached to the machine, I'd, I'd avoid that because uh, it can lead to um, complicated information on your reports. So negative item would be if you were doing a um, either a discount button but the machine's already got one or probably like a voucher button or a um, a bottle return or deposit return. In fact, I'll program one of those separately. I'll do a separate video on that so you can see how that works. Um, so the machines are really powerful. So there's a there's so many options for the PLUs and that's partly because you can have a flat keyboard version of this machine for hospitality and you tend to use more of the options on the flat keyboards um, rather than on the raised keyboard simple retail version. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that programming for that button. So I'm now going to program um, PLU2. Again I'm going to have this one to be open but in a um, different tax rate. So I'm going to put this as reduced tax again it's going to have no price it's not going to be preset so I need to change that preset override and then tax rate one no but tax rate two because this is a 5% a reduced um, tax rate product I'm having tax 2 applied none of the other taxes are on and it's going to stay I'm going to pop that in group 3 clear and then I'll just PLU1 I'll put as something fairly standard press enter what I didn't do there was press enter I started typing in the price because I'm going to have this one as preset before I went into the setting so this is a preset but I'm going to turn off the preset override and then taxable um, let's leave this as a non-tax item um, so yeah that's the programming done obviously I've just programmed for made up fairly basic products which just give you an idea of the core pieces of programming so description price open or preset, preset override and then tax settings. So clear is your return to the main menu screen so you have to press that a few times until you get back to program mode where PLU is number one. You then turn the key back to reg and then you can test your products out. Um, so we've got button four that was preset as lottery ticket so you press it or you can do a multiply on this machine so ten tickets would be ten multiply and then the lottery button we've got we had a couple of open buttons okay because we've programmed this one is open it's got an error message come up because I didn't allow a zero price sale so we type in the price hit the button that's my goods department what I'm going to do is I'm going to round up the goods department so I can explain the tax working out a bit easier so that's eight pound one Ninety nine. Let's get it up to twelve pound. Reduce taxed product, and then my bread product is one pound fifty. So we can now subtotal on the machine. If you're not familiar with how you process a transaction, you've got a cash button here. So if they're paying in cash, fifty pounds, for example, you would type in five zero double zero, then hit your cash button. If they were paying by um, card, then you have a charge button here, which obviously if they're paying by card, you don't need to enter the monies. Um, it will simply come up um, and show the show the full amount. So that's how to program a PLU and how then to process those PLUs on the sale. So we can see my lottery department or my lottery PLUs at the top, um, my goods. Then my reduced tax and you can see then it's split the tax out as well so 
I sold £12 through the taxable department at 20%. Um, so that was £10 plus 20%. So that's why I've got £2 at the tax. And then my reduced tax rate of 5%. That's 5p because I only put £1 through my reduced department there. You see it says red tax T2. So that's tax 2 which is at 5%. And then T1 is all my tax ones, which I made a bit of a mess up, but got to £12 just to illustrate the tax split a bit better or a bit simpler for you. Obviously, if you're looking to set up tax on the machine and you haven't, I'll put the link to the video up now for programming in the tax. And obviously, if you're watching from overseas or a different um, tax territory or your business calculates tax in a different way, then you can watch my video, but please don't copy it exactly, edit it accordingly um, to suit your region. OK, I hope that video has been helpful. got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the NR500s, uh, some of which will be appearing on screen now. You're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforushelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.